Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rob, and today we're gonna to do something pretty fun. We're gonna do these giant turkey legs. These guys are almost two pounds a piece. I have four of them here. Uh, now I bought them locally from Bolton's Farm Market in Silverdale, Pennsylvania. I'm gonna link their Instagram down below. You guys make sure to check them out. Uh, these four were, uh, what were they? 7.75 pounds, so about two pounds a piece for $13.87, bargain. You know what else? They were able to give me some uh, pink curing salt, which we're gonna use in this recipe here. Uh, so anyway, let's get going here. All right, let me move these guys out of the way. Let's mix together our brine. Uh, and I'm gonna give a shout out to Susie from Hey Grill Hey. You can check out her channel here at the, uh, the card right there. Um, I looked around a little bit for, uh, for various ingredients and things to do turkey legs and uh, I'm basically doubling what she did because she did two of these giant ones. So I'm going to do four. Uh, we're starting out with eight cups of water, uh, half a cup of um, dark brown sugar. This is uh, two teaspoons of uh, kosher salt. Tablespoons, that was two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of uh, the peppercorns. And two teaspoons of this curing salt. There's also gonna be four bay leaves, which I'm gonna wait a minute to put those in. So right now I'm just gonna dissolve all this. All right, next step, we're gonna take one of these gallon freezer bags. Put one in there. Let's do another stir up here a little bit. And I'm gonna try to even this stuff out here. Split it into four. Good for that one. And that's it for now. We're gonna let these guys sit for about 24 hours in the fridge. Um, so don't forget to put your bay leaf in there. And about halfway through, just kind of move them around, flip them around, make sure everything is getting covered. And I'm just gonna keep them on this tray I got here. That way nothing spills all over the place. Anyway. Give this 24 hours and uh, we'll be back. Hey, it's the next day. Uh, a little over 24 hours, probably about 27, 28 hours or so. I uh, just threw some new uh, Jealous Double lump on here. Uh, just threw a fire starter in there. Gonna let this come up to about 275 or so. A couple cherry chunks, throw in there. But yeah, let's get these, uh, these turkey guys out of the fridge, rinse them off a little bit, and then let's season them up. All right, I did pat them down, uh, so they are a little bit on the dry side. I'm gonna spray them here with a little bit of spray butter. And put on that nice Uncle Steve's color. I'm hoping this butter will help to kind of
kind of crispy up the skin. We're only going to go at 275. We're not going to get very much crispy skin. All right, we've hit our temp. Let's go ahead and throw these guys on. I can smell that cherry wood. Nice. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so we'll give that a little while. I don't know how long they're gonna take, a couple hours or so. Right now it's a little bit after four o'clock. Yeah, I'll see you in a little while. We'll, uh, we'll pull them off once they hit about um, 175, 180, something like that. Hopefully those tendons pull back and stuff. The, uh, the guy at the farmer's market is like, I don't know with these large ones because they, uh, you know, the older they get, the tougher things get in there, those tendons and things, so we'll see. But hopefully they turn out great. Uh, first time first time trying these uh, for me. But yeah, we'll see in a little while. All right, guys, it's been about three and a half, about three hours, 45 minutes. And um, I just tempt them. They're up at about 175, 178. Let's go ahead and take a look and take them off. Got some nice color to them. When I was probing them, they were a little tough feeling. So I'm not sure how this is gonna come out. So I'm gonna put them on the uh, tray here. Let them cool down about 10 minutes or so. Hopefully there's still gonna be some light out. And I'll take a bite into one. All right, we'll see you in about 10 minutes. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Hopefully I'm not gonna burn my mouth on this guy. I'm gonna pick one. Get over here. All right, here goes. Tastes pretty good. Got that Uncle Steve shake. Sweet and spicier. You see the color in there? So like that hammy, hammy thing going on. Huh. That's a tough piece right there. So good though. Well, I'll have to try it with some, uh, some of the smaller one pound ones too. See how they go. But it was a fun cook. So I want to thank Bolton's Farm Market for uh, giving me some of that curing salt. I did order some from Amazon, uh, but that just came um, today, so I didn't have that yesterday. Um, woo, that Uncle Steve's. Must have bit into a uh, <laughs> spicy spot. Anyway, uh, yeah, I wanted to thank them. 
they they had these these giant guys there. Um, yeah. So give this a try. This was 275 degrees for almost four hours. I pulled them off when they hit about uh, 175 internal temp. Let them sit about 10 minutes. Um, and the big thing was that 24 hour uh, soak, right? So I'll put the uh, the ingredients below of what I used for that for that uh, that soak. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.